few days ago, we told you about a nonprofit group out of Charleston that handed out Narcan kits in Myrtle Beach. But today, family members of one local addict say they think handing out medicine to reverse overdose, overdoses does more harm than good. News 13's Hannah Rucker joins us out now live from downtown Myrtle Beach, an area where first responders see a lot of overdoses. Hannah. Nicole, Bob, these family members I spoke with today told me they feel like handing out this Narcan allows addicts to feel like they can get as high as they want without the fear of death. It's almost as if the addicts are taking advantage of their generosity and their help. It's been exactly one year since Chris Canada says his brother Jesse overdosed on heroin and had to be revived at the Conway Medical Center. He came out of the, you know, of his drug-induced state in a uh, just a rage he uh, wasn't really grateful at all he looked at it as oh I'm cool now because I've OD'd and lived through it he thinks rather than just handing out Narcan recovery needs to be an easier process they have to apply and they have to be accepted and you have to like say if you go and you do something through the court you have to go through probate court medics with the Myrtle Beach Fire Department say it varies how many overdose calls they'll get in a day sometimes it's more than once a week sometimes it's more than once a shift sometimes not at all it just really depends on what's going on what kind of batch of drugs are coming through and that sometimes they'll see a familiar face while responding to one Yep, there's repeat offenders, you know, that stay in the area that continually do it, and they know we're going to come and, you know, fix things, for lack of a better term. Now, something that the medics also emphasized today is that although you may have Narcan on, on you, it may not always be enough to help revive you, depending how much heroin, how long it's been in your system, things like that. So anytime anyone is experiencing an overdose, they encourage you to always call 911. Live in Myrtle Beach for News 13, I'm Hannah Rucker.